This is just a response to a, a message I got from uh, Kyle Carrington saying that he was getting some, uh, under cases of very low sun, he was getting erratic performance of an array on a Maxim Pop 1 charge controller, and that is typical in conditions of crap weather. Uh, because virtually all Maxim PowerPoint charge controllers have a minimum specified power rating for the array. If they're not getting that much power from the array, they don't work properly because the algorithm can't adequately track the uh, array. In the case of a BZ Products uh, MPPT250 series charge controllers, that is about 17 watts, and the minimum recommended array size is 68 watts. And right now I'm getting about one amp here. It was before it was, um, which is actually the best I've seen from this all day because it's really kind of nasty and crap out. Uh, uh, before it was oscillating between about uh, nothing and about 500 milliampers, uh, a couple of peaks at 700 milliampers. Whereas if you look at the array. Also, if you're doing a test like this, you want to make sure that the array is uh, disconnected. And that spark is, of course, this is a 48-volt uh, nominal array, so... Again, this stuff presents a bit of an electrocution hazard, but... Kind of hard to read, but... It says... Uh... 0.64 amperes, 0.65 amperes or so. Yeah. But anyways. Um, so yeah, that kind of uh, crap performance is typical. It's up to 1.8 amperes now. Because the clouds must be thinning because before it was pretty intermittent. But for some reason, these BZ products units, if you... Uh, if it's acting intermittent like that, all you need to do is just disconnect the array and reconnect it again. And, uh, well, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it'll, uh, ah. but, um, anyways, uh, click, and, yeah, see, it's, uh, kind of oscillating around. But then again, this is fairly typical with the maximum power point charge controller, uh, is that they will, they just can't adequately, uh, track the array. Maximum power point, so erratic operation is to be expected uh, in cases of low sun. That's just one little thing about maximum power point uh, charge controllers. Uh, in cases like this, of course, you'd need an array that was at the proper potential for your battery bank. You couldn't get away with a much higher potential array like what I'm doing here, but uh, at least not without wasting most of the array power. But, in cases like this, a pulse width modulation charge controller or a shunt controller would have a bit better performance. But uh, that's just one thing about these. Although these are much better for cases where you've got much uh, more sun and whatever. But, uh, so yeah, this is just one little caveat about maximum power point charge controllers.